It's been known for a while now that the Chinese edition of Terraria is built a little bit different than the version we have overseas, and that's because the game had to be specifically designed to suit the region. That's why the Moon Lord looks like this. Here's the Brain of Cthulhu, the Eye of Cthulhu, Skeletron Prime, the Twins, Sand Tank, the Pirate Ship, the Wall of Flesh, and even Skeletron. And that's because to comply with local laws, they had to remove all of the gore from the game. This version also had to comply with the anti-addiction laws for under 18s, meaning if you can't verify your age, you're allowed to play 90 minutes on a weekday, three hours on the weekend, but no gaming between 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. Now, this isn't the first version of Terraria that's launched in China. I made a video a couple years ago talking about a version created by iDream Sky, which was originally free to play, but allowed players to buy a pass to play the game while the online servers were live. This version, though, was truly awful. It was littered with microtransactions. Quite literally, you have to pay to respawn faster. And thankfully, that version of the game no longer remains. Now, that version of Terraria was also censored, but had slightly different sprites. And what's great is the team leading the new version actually did a poll in the community to ask people if they wanted to see these old sprites or new sprites in the newer version. And fun fact, all of those new censored sprites that you've seen were actually created by real Terraria fans. So the reason I bring this all up is because when developing the new edition, they wanted to give players that played the old edition some exclusive items to say thank you for the support. And this is what players got. They got two unique boomerangs, a vanity set, a sword, a painting and two re-sprited golf carts and you can see a couple of them here. Now in terms of differences between the Chinese edition of Terraria and our own edition of Terraria, that actually seemed to be it. Well, at least it was, until a very special collaboration was announced this week, which I have to talk about. Now I would say prepare yourself, but I don't think anyone on earth is ready for this. Here it is, KFC Terraria. That's right. So for a limited time between August 15th and August 29th, players can take part in the Terraria KFC collaboration. And to get started, all they need to do is redeem the code Terraria KFC. Now this will automatically unlock three different items or paintings. The first one of the Colonel's glorious chicken drumstick, the second of a mighty bucket descending down from the heavens, and the third one is just a picture of a burger. But there are some other items up for grabs, and to get them, you'll need to consume some KFC. So this is how I believe it works. I am relying on Google Translate. Players will need to purchase a KFC premium pass, and then once they buy a meal, they'll be given a code to get a loot box, and inside of that loot box is some of the new KFC items. And here's a little look at the items. For example, players can obtain a pet chicken, which bizarrely is summoned in with a chicken nugget, you can also dress like the man himself with a full colonel's outfit. This comes with white sunglasses, a white beard, a white tuxedo, and also a white wig, of course. You can also obtain a brand new weapon. It's a chicken drumstick. And also there's a new mount, which looks like a KFC delivery motorbike, and it's summoned in with a pair of keys. And finally, for the master builders out there, you can actually unlock some KFC dining tables and chairs for full immersion. So I actually love that they went all out for this collaboration and fully decorated two separate KFCs that people can visit. So this is the outside of one of the stores. As you can see, they've transformed the windows into a Terraria landscape. And for the other KFC, they've done a similar thing, but with the front doors. Inside one of the KFCs, as you're ordering your food, one of them has a big banner at the counter and the other one has a big canvas print. Now, I don't want to admit how much money I would spend to obtain that and to put that on my wall. So this whole collaboration is pretty silly and I would pay good money to see somebody beat the Moon Lord with a chicken drumstick. But honestly, when I see it, I just feel proud, as weird as that is. This is a game I've been playing for so long. I watched it grow from something small to something very big. And although I don't expect Relogic to do something like this over here, I would legitimately love to go to a Terraria themed KFC. Later on, while researching this, I did find out that the Chinese edition does have a couple more exclusives. And no, it's not like McDonald's themed. 
They have a couple more paintings and some vanity outfits and even an exclusive pet. Here's an image which shows a whole bunch of them. Not too sure what the references are. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.